Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I'm bringing you guys the Raiders video today. I'm switching it up. Uh, I'm going to see how um, this format of video making works out. Uh, if you guys like it, if you guys don't like it, let me know. I'd appreciate some feedback, but I'm going to get right to it. Here we go. So the Oakland Raiders finished their 2011 season at 8-8. Eight and eight. It was a very close AFC West race. The Broncos came back and won it. Um, it I mean, honestly, any of the teams in the West could have won it if they, if some of them were healthy. I know the Raiders didn't have McFadden, so I mean, you can point fingers to different areas, but uh, it's close. They finish at eight and eight. Um, Off-season goal, I believe they need to address the defense in the draft. It's it's tough when you they've lost two cornerbacks, um, being Namdi Asamoa and uh, Stanford Route. Sanford Rouse signed with the uh, division rival Kansas City Chiefs. Now, in this draft, I must remind you guys, for those of you who aren't Raiders fans or those of you who just don't know, the Raiders do not have too many draft picks in this draft. They only have two. I'm going to hit on that in a second. Uh, so they have 12 unrestricted free agents. Top two free agents on the list being Jason Campbell. I do not see him coming back because they have Carson Palmer on the uh, roster now. Michael Bush, I do not see him coming back, even though I love the one-two punch they have with him. And McFadden, he's not coming back. He's going to get paid. Possibly a, de a possible destination for him could be Cincinnati. Now, draft needs. I see, like I mentioned, cornerback. They've lost two starters in the last two seasons. They're going to need to address that need right away. Outside linebacker, they don't have two. They don't have a lot of linebackers on the roster, so they're going to need to address dra uh, a depth at that position and possibly even wide receiver. Um, also, some more depth. I mean, they don't have that premier number one like other teams do, like Calvin Johnson, or uh, you know Greg Jennings, or you know you know you know what I'm trying to say. They don't have that number one. I don't know if they'll find it in this draft. There, there's no way they will, but they need to address that need. Now, this is where it's going to hurt for the Raiders in this off season. They don't have a number one draft pick or number one overall pick because they traded it to the Bengals for Carson Palmer. They don't have the second round pick because they traded it to the uh, Patriots in the last draft so that they can get a third and a fourth. They don't have a third round pick because they drafted Terrell Pryor in the supplemental draft. They don't have a fourth round pick because of the Jason Campbell trade with the Redskins. And they don't have a seventh round pick because they traded that away to um, the Seahawks for Aaron Curry. Now they only have a fifth and a sixth. What are you going to do with a fifth and a sixth? They could possibly address that cornerback need with one of them. Maybe a linebacker in the sixth round. But honestly, if you want somebody, if you want to hit on anything in this draft, maybe you trade the fifth and the sixth for up for, for a, a guy in the fourth round. I mean, you don't have en enough picks as it is. What are you going to do? A guy that might could be mentioned in this draft for the... Uh, uh, for the Raiders is Jamal Fleming. He's a cornerback. He's a third to fourth round prospect. If he slips to the fourth round, do the Raiders trade their fifth and sixth to trade up and get him? I don't know. It's a chance. If you guys haven't heard of Jamal Fleming, look him up. Um, but that's all I've got for the Raiders. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are new to uh, my channel, I appreciate it if you uh, would subscribe. And then uh, also visit my website, beforethekickoff.com. We're updating it daily. We're getting interviews and... Um, you know, we're just, oh, and we also have a free agent tracker for March 13th. You guys can check that out as well. So I appreciate it. I'm out.